Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you my cauliflower curry. I make this very often, especially just before I need to go shopping so I can use up all the bits and pieces I have left in my fridge. Today it's going to be cauliflower. Other times it may be chickpeas, it could be crunchy green beans, it could be almost anything. And I hope if you enjoy this recipe that you'll give the video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the bell notification so that you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. And this curry will be ready in next to no time. Peel and ch roughly chop an onion. in there. I want a chilli. You can deceit this if you want it mild. I'm going to take the seeds out of one half and leave them in the other half. It's not a hot curry. It does have some warmth though but you can of course if you like add more. I'm going to use some coriander later on to scatter over my curry so I'm going to put the stalks in here. They'll add lots of flavour. Three cloves of garlic. And now I'm going to glove up because I'm using some fresh turmeric and it will stain your hands. It'll make it look like you smoke 80 a day. The easiest way to peel both of these is just using the tip of a teaspoon to tear the skin away. Look how vibrant and orange the turmeric is. Okay. Discard my gloves now <laughs> and simply just blend this to a puree. And that is the base for my curry. It smells so fragrant and so much better than anything you'll get from a jar. Add a little oil to a pan. Then we just want to Add this mixture and let it cook for a moment or two. So this won't look really any different, it just slightly softens the vegetables. And I then just want a few spices. teaspoon of ground coriander and exactly the same of cumin and the same of salt. You can add some more later if needed and of course if you haven't got fresh turmeric and fresh ginger you can use dried here. Again a teaspoon of each. Stir those spices into the paste. What's fantastic about this curry is it is also vegan so it suits a lot of people. I make this quite often when I have vegan friends over and they all love it and even those that aren't vegan love this. It's always the <laughs> first curry to run out. <laughs> and a can of chopped tomatoes. And that is essentially <laughs> the base of the curry done. So I just need now to get my cauliflower. I'm just going to 
can do this directly over my pan. And we're not going to waste all this either. The stock in that I'm going to finely slice because it is tougher than the florets. So it does need to be a little bit smaller. And in that goes. And we can also use some of these leaves as well. I don't want to put in all the leaves because there would be far too much going on. everything down into the curry and that can simmer away onto the cauliflower is tender and I'll get on with a bit of tidying up Curry's ready, <laughs> I say impatiently. I have some black rice that I'm serving with it. You can use any rice you like. I just love the color of this against the bright orangeness of the curry. It smells incredibly good. Maybe just a bit more. And the coriander leaves I saved from earlier. And bread, of course. And that is my simple cauliflower curry. I hope you've enjoyed this recipe and that you'll give it a go. And until next time, have a good one.